So today I'm going to show you how to download and install and set up the Digimon Masters Online Advanced Launcher, which basically is like a regular launcher, except the links, I don't know about your guys', but for my GDMO links like on the launcher, they don't work. The links work, you can personalize your login screen easily, and it's got a whole bunch more features, you can go through your screenshots, all that shit. So. So you go to the website that I'm going to put a link in the description box. You click download. If it doesn't download in a second, you click direct link. See, there's the download. Uh, you basically launch the download, run it, install it, whatever. It's going to put a link on your desktop somewhere. It's going to be like a random on icon, I think. I'd move mine down here and pinned it to the taskbar. Anyways, so you launch it. And it's not going to let you start the game because you have not set up a designated path yet. So what you do is over here, it won't, mine's logged in or whatever, but it'll, I don't know what it'll say, but you go over here, click the down arrow, go to settings, under path to game, you click browse, usually your game is under your C drive, in your C drive you click, but you, wherever you install your game, you go to temporary C drive, joy max, DMO and click OK. Do that for both the like wherever your game is and then wherever the launcher is. Do that. Uh, you just type in your user your game in game name here. Set as default profile. Click apply. Then bam, it'll work when you click game start. Now, as far as personalizing your login screen and stuff, don't question that. <laughs> you can change in your you can change your login backgrounds and. You can actually change a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not sure how to get like other textures for these things though yet. Whoops. But yeah, you can replace your logos. So basically though, to do that, they need to be in a certain format. Normal pictures are in PNG format or JPEG format. Well, you need the picture to be in TGA format. So I'm going to give a link to where to download that. Basically, I'm going to give a link to this app here. You click this. You select, click this. Select your picture that's in JPEG format. Select where you want it to save to in your output, whatever output folder. Click Convert. It turns the JPEG into a .tga. Then you s click this here. Select the or select the TGA thing, and click Apply, and then it'll do that. And here's an example of like my game using the advanced launch even if you launch it without the advanced launcher after you change the personalization stuff that'll stay but anyways and see look like these links actually work now because they didn't before for me anyways so I'll show you like my customized stuff click game start give it a second <laughs> and you know, my computer is doing a whole bunch of stuff too, so it usually launches it. That depends. The launch speed depends on your computer, not the program. It just launches like the regular launcher. But yeah, here's my customized screens. See, I replaced these. I replaced the uh, logo here with that, <laughs> and that <laughs> is don't question it. And then here's my login background. As soon as it loads. Oh. Yeah, and I replaced my login background music. So that's basically it. Alright, let me know if this helps.